now am I? What have you done to me? You witch. You witch, aren't you? You bloody witch! Good evening. I'm from the Ministry of Magic. I'm sorry, I don't understand you. Ministry, is it? Correct. And you, I take it, are Mr. Gaunt. Ah! Right. Put you in the face, did you? Indeed. Should have made your presence known, shouldn't you? This is private property. You can't just walk in here and expect my son not to defend himself. Defend himself? Against what, man? Busy bodies, intruders, muggles. And filth. It's your son I'm here to see, Mr. Gunz. That was morphine, wasn't it? Oh, that was morphine. Are you pure blood? That's neither here nor there. Now, when I come to think about it, I've seen noses like yours down in the village. <laughs> I don't doubt it. If your son's been let loose on them. Perhaps we could continue the discussion inside. Inside? Yes, Mr. Count. I've already told you I'm here about Morphin. We sent an owl. I have news for owls. I don't open letters. Then you can hardly complain that you get no warnings to visitors. I'm here, following a serious breach of wizarding law, which occurred here late last night. All right, all right, all right. Come in the bleeding house, then. Much good that will do you.
My daughter, Arope. Good evening. Bobogdan. Well, Mr. Gaunt, to get straight to the point, we have reason to believe that your son Morphin performed magic in front of a muggle late last night. Oh. Sunny hair. That's right. Grub on the floor like some filthy muggle. What's your one for, you useless sack of muck? Mr. Gaunt, please. Mend it, you point the slump. Mend it. Lucky the nice man from the ministry here, isn't it? Perhaps he'll take me off my hands. Perhaps he doesn't mind dirty squibs. Mr. Gaunt, as I've said, the reason for my I visit... I heard you the first time, and so what? Morphin gave a muggle a bit was coming to him. What about it then? Morphin has broken wizarding law. Morphin has broken wizarding law. <laughs> He taught a filthy muggle a lesson. That's illegal now, is it? Yes. Mr. Gaunt, the orders are in their way. What's that then? His sentence? It is a summons from the ministry for a hearing. Summons, summons, summons. Who do you think you are summoning my son anywhere? I'm head of the magical law enforcement squad. And you think we're scum, don't you? Scum who come running from the ministry when they tell them to. Do you know who you're talking to, you filthy mudblood? See this? See this? Do you know what it is? Do you know where it comes from? Centuries has been in our family, and that's how far back we go. Pure bloods all the way. And you know how much I've been offered for this with the peveril coat of arms engraved on the stones? It's quite beside the point, Mr. Gaunt. Your son has committed... See this! Slithering, Salazar, slithering! We're his last living descendants. What do you say to that, then, eh? Mr. Gaunt, your daughter! Don't you go thinking of all the dirt on his shoes. Generations of pure bloods and wizards. Or oh, more than you can say, I don't doubt. Mr. Gaunt, I'm afraid that neither your ancestors nor mine have anything to do with the matter in hand. I'm here because of Morphine. Morphine performed jinx or hex on the said Mughal, causing him to erupt in highly painful hives. <laughs> Say, sir! Your son's attitude that he feels no remorse for his actions. Morphine will attend a hearing on the 14th of September to answer the charges of using magic in front of a Mughal and causing harm and distress on the said Mughal God, what a nice hall. Couldn't your father have that hovel cleared away, Tom? Well, this is not ours. Everything on the other side of the valley belongs to us, but that cottage belongs to an old tramp called Pavel Gaunt and his children. The song's quite mad, actually. You should hear some of the stories they tell in the village. Good Lord, has somebody nailed a snake to that door? You're right. That must be the sun. I told you he's not right in the head. Please, don't look at it, Cecilia, darling. Come. Darling, darling, that told me don't call her. So he wouldn't have you anyway. What was that? What did you say, Morphin? She likes looking in that riddle. Always in the garden when he passes. Being with the hedge at him. Isn't she? I even saw her with luck potion. And last night, hanging out of the window, waiting for him to ride home. 
wasn't she? Hmm? <laughs> Is this true? My daughter, pure blooded descendant of Salzar slithering, hankering over a dirty, filthy, vain muggle? But I got him, father. I got him as he went by. And he did not look pretty, with hives all over him. Did he, Ophie? <laughs> you disgusting little squib, you filthy little blood! <laughs> Relax, you! <laughs> you, but your father and your brother are a threat to the Mughals. They have to come with us. Bob well, warned us against them. This family is crazy. Yeah, they have a bad feeling too. Go ahead and scout little Hangleton. All right. Tu sembles inquiet? Disons que ça change des cours de beau bâton. Pas vraiment. Comme pour les cours de défense contre les forces du mal, je suis toujours là pour surveiller tes arrières. Je suis pas sûr de trouver ça rassurant. French guys, stay focused, it's your first time. It's imperative we catch them.
Enjoy being invited at this stranger's lair. Now, how are you? Did they still overwork you at that shop? Not anymore. I'm starting to take my independence. <laughs> I'll think you're only here for my trinkets. Now, I've something to show you that I've never shown Mr. Burke. But you? You'll appreciate it for its history, not how many galleons you can get. I'd be glad to see anything Miss Hepsiba shows me. A badger. Then this was... Helga Hufflepuffs, as you very well know, you clever boy. Didn't I tell you I was distantly descended? This has been handed down in the family for years and years. Lovely, isn't it? And all sorts of powers it's supposed to possess too. But I haven't tested them thoroughly. I just keep it nice and safe. In here. And this? And this? What is it? I think you'll like this even more. Of course, Burke knows I've got this one. I bought it from him 30 years ago, and I dare say he'd love to get it back when I'm gone. 
Slytherin's mark. Thirty years ago, you said... I had to pay an arm and leg for it. But I couldn't let it pass. Not a real treasure like that. Had to have it for my connection. Bert bought it apparently from a ragged-looking woman who seemed to have stolen it. But had no idea of its true value. I dare say Burke paid her a pittance. Was she a young woman? What do you mean? The person he bought it from. Yes. A ragged-looking woman. It does not matter. Miss Hepzibah Smith. This object belongs to me. And this paltry woman was my mother. In the name of the law, I arrest you for the murder of Epsibah Smith, whoever you are. Surrender. Step aside. Open fire! <laughs> You have failed. Now, your ministry shall fall. Only I can live forever. 